Greetings to you. Welcome to Grade Day Tutorials. Today we are going to solve a question under GDP, that is real GDP and nominal GDP. And so we have a question here which says the table below show the outputs and the prices of Switzerland in 2020 and 2021. So we have the goods produced and we have 2020 prices, we have 2020 quantity, 2021 price and 2021 quantity. And so the question says, calculate Switzerland's nominal GDP in 2020 and 2021. Calculate Switzerland's real GDP in 2021 using constant 2020 prices. Calculate GDP deflator price index for 2021. And the last question says, how much did the average price produced in Switzerland change between 2020 and 2021? So let's begin with our solutions. So, we are going to calculate Switzerland's nominal GDP in 2020 and 2021. So, for the nominal GDP in 2020, we know when you are calculating for nominal GDP, we use the base year rot, um, prices, right? So, that particular year that you are calculating the GDP, that is in terms of nominal you are going to use the price and its corresponding quantity so for 2020 we are going to use the prices for 2020 and the quantity for 2020 so we have these two multiplying 400 that is two times 400 plus six times 200 so six times 200 plus 20 times 80 so 20 times 80 so you multiply each so 2 times 400 will give you 800 plus 6 times 200 will give you 1200 plus 20 times 80 will give you 1600 and so these are the market values or market what prices so when you add the market prices you are going to get what nominal gdp in 2020 so 800 plus 1200 will give you what 2000 plus 1600 will give you 3600 and so this is the nominal gdp in 2020 so let's calculate for the nominal gdp in 2021 as the question um says so nominal gdp in 2021 and so here too you use the prices in 2021 and the quantity in 2021 so the first one is three times 400 plus eight times 200 plus 22 times 10 and so when you multiply 3 by 400 you get 1200 plus 8 times 200 will give you 1600 plus 22 times 10 will give you 2 2 2 it's 22 times 100 right so it will give you 2200 okay yeah. so we are going to sum um the market values and so when we sum the market values we have what five thousand we have five thousand and so assuming it is in dallas right so we bring our dollar sign here so this is the nominal gdp in 2020 and nominal gdp in 2021 so we are done with the first part of the question the second part of the question says we should calculate what real GDP in 2021 using constant 2020 prices. So here we are going to calculate what real GDP. And when you are calculating for real GDP, you use um, the current year's what quantity, and you multiply the current year's quantity by the base year's what prices. Okay. So here you are going to use um, 2021 quantity to multiply what the base year what prices that is what the question says and most of the times if it is not stated in the question it means you have to use the first year's what prices okay sometimes they can um ask you to use what the current year as the base year 
right so if it is stated in the question as 2020 then it means you have to use these prices to multiply um 2021 quantity that is our real gdp so this is the first part of the question and the second part of the question is real gdp in 2021 okay so real gdp in 2021 we are going to use the prices in 2020 to multiply them so two will multiply the 400 year so we have two times 400 plus six will multiply 200 so six times 200 plus 20 will multiply them 100 year so you have what 20 times 100 right so here when you multiply 2 by um 400 you get what 800 plus 6 by 200 will give you what 1200 plus 20 times 100 will also give you what 2000 right so you have 2000 and so for the real GDP in 2021 becomes um, $4,000, right? So you have $4,000. So we are done with the real GDP in 2021. That is the second part of the question. So we used what the constant prices in 2020 to multiply the quantity in what? 2021. So we are done with the second part of the question. Let's move on to the third part of the question. So for the third part of the question, um, it says we should calculate GDP deflator price index for 2021, right? And so we see GDP. Let's do the third question here. Okay. One, two, three. So GDP deflator. And you know for the GDP deflator, it is equal to what? the nominal value in the year they are talking about over the real gdp or the real value times what 100 right and so this one they said we should calculate it in what 2021 so we have to use the nominal gdp in 2021 and the real gdp in 2021 so the nominal gdp in 2021 is 5000 real is what 4000 and so in this case our gdp deflator will be the nominal that is your know, five thousand over the real that is four thousand times what hundred right and you are going to get one hundred and twenty five right so you have one hundred and twenty five as what the deflator and so after getting one hundred and twenty five as the deflator that is what the third part of the question okay and so we are to calculate for what um how much did the average price produced in switzerland change between 2020 and 2021 so basically they are talking about what the inflation rates do you get it how much do you get it and so we are to calculate for the percentage change and so before you calculate for the um inflation rate or the percentage change you have to get what um deflator in 2020 and deflator in what um 2021 but here this is what the gdp deflator in 2021 because that is what the question said okay so gdp deflator in 2021 gdp deflator in 2021 equals 125 okay so now for the fourth question or the last part before you calculate for the rate or the average price increase or the percentage change price increase or change it is equal to what the gdp deflator in 2021 right 2021 minus gdp deflator in 2020 okay then you divide it by gdp deflator 
in 2020 then you multiply it by what 100 to get your percentage okay yes and so our gdp for 2021 we know it to be what 125 okay and so before you get um gdp for um deflator for 2020 you see for the base year the nominal gdp is the same as what the real gdp okay and so where is it we had the real gdp to be what um four thousand right and sorry we had the nominal to be three thousand six hundred and the real gdp real gdp to be what four thousand and when it comes to the deflator in 2021 we had what one two five but in um 2020 we are going to get what um 100 it is always 100 because the nominal gdp in 2020 this is how we calculate for the deflator you know it is what nominal over what real so if we are to calculate for real gdp in 2020 we will get the same value do you get it because we are going to multiply these prices by the quantity when we are calculating for nominal and we will use the same prices by quantity to calculate for what the real gdp in 2020 so for the base year the nominal gdp is equal to what the real gdp so the nominal gdp we have here is the same as what the real gdp i hope you get that and so the real gdp in 2020 is also what three thousand six hundred do you get it so let's calculate for the um gdp deflator in 2020 so since we have gdp deflator in 2021 let's calculate for gdp deflator in 2020 and so gdp deflator in 2020 is equal to it will be nominal which is 3600 over real gdp and we said for the base year the nominal gdp is the same as the real gdp so it is 3600 then you multiply it by 100 you get it so this one will cancel out this to give you 100 that is why I said for the base year, the nominal GDP and the real GDP are what? The same. So when you are calculating for any GDP deflator in the base year, you are going to get what? 100. Do you get it? And so looking at the formula, GDP deflator in 2021 is this. GDP deflator in 2020 is 100. And so we can then calculate for the average price. And so we see GDP deflator in 2021, which is 1, 2, 5, minus... 2020 is 100 then we divide it by 100 and multiply it by what um 100 percent to get our percentage right and so here when you do um or perform this calculation you are going to get what this 100 will cancel out this 100 to give you what 25 percent okay so you are going to get 25 percent as the inflation rates okay and here they said what how much you get it so how much did the average price produced in switzerland change and so anytime they ask you the average price increase or the average price decrease is either they are talking about what um inflation or deflation but this one because um 2020 we had um deflator where is the 2020 deflator so 2020 deflator is 100 and 2021 deflator is 125 so it means there is going to be what an increase so the difference between them becomes what um the average price they are talking about i hope you get that yes and um the percentage is the rates that they are talking about here and so we are done solving um, the question on gdp and nominal gdp